In the following how-to video, I will demonstrate how you can use a few easy available electronic items to modify an MP3 FM car transmitter to broadcast onto a local radio frequency for up to half a mile away. This is helpful in an emergency when power or cell phone lines are down and you want to communicate with friends and family. For our demonstration, we are using one of the most widely available and least expensive models of MP3 player wireless FM transmitters for your car. A new device should cost no more than 10 US dollars. First, let's take a look at the items we will need. 1. Soldering iron with solder. 2. Box cutters, sharp knife. 3. Small Phillips screwdriver. 4. Wire cutters, sharp scissors. 5. MP3 FM wireless transmitter with SD USB slot, similar to what is shown in the video. 6. Short audio cable with MP3 player or a microphone with audio jack or a USB SD loaded with audio. 7. Three electric wires around 6 inches long. 8. One copper wire around 3 feet. The thicker the wire, the better. 18 gauge copper wire works very well, or even an old fashioned TV antenna made from aluminum will extend the coverage of your unit even further. 9. Power supply, 12 volt DC. 10. Tweezers. Step 1. Remove any screws in the transmitter and unscrew the car adapter at the end of the unit. Removing the fuse inside, be sure to pay attention to how the unit comes apart, as you will have to reassemble the transmitter later. Step 2. Using tweezers or your fingers, gently pry the transmitter apart. You might need to squeeze the sides of the unit to release and any internal latches that may be keeping it together, exposing the circuit board. Step 3. Gently, keeping all internal wires attached, lift the circuit board out of its plastic case. Step 4. Between the RF output and the antenna, there is a small component called the attenuator, which look like resistors. Using your soldering iron, heat both legs of the attenuator. Step 5. Lift the attenuator off the circuit board completely with the tweezers. Be careful not to damage the IC next to it. Note. Through experimentation, we have discovered that the most powerful transmitter has an IC with the number BK1085 on it. Step 5. Using the soldering iron, heat one end of the electric wire, connect it to the point near the IC where the leg of the attenuator was just connected. Step 6. 
using the soldering iron to make a small hole in the back of the plastic cover of the unit. Make sure the hole is big enough to run the wire that is attached to the IC unit through it. Step 7. Make a knot in the wire near to where it is connected to the IC unit. Then thread it through the hole you made in step 6. The knot keeps the wire from breaking. Step 8. Reassemble the FM transmitter, making sure that all the buttons fit into their appropriate slots and screw the unit back together. Step 9. Using the soldering iron, attach the electric wire that is now sticking out of the back of the transmitter to one end of the copper wire. Note: The copper wire will act as an antenna which will expand the coverage of the transmitter. There is a variation in length of this wire because the length depends on the frequency that the transmitter will use. The higher the frequency you use, the shorter the wire needs to be. You can determine the length through trial and error once you finished assembling the unit. Step 10. Using either the audio jack or USB port, plug in the item you are trying to transmit. Note, in the audio jack, you can plug in anything you are trying to transmit that has an audio plug. This could be an audio player, microphone, computer, or mobile phone. For the USB port, plug in a USB flash drive with preloaded audio recordings. For the SD port, use an SD card with audio loaded onto it. Note, if you have a car, then you can plug the transmitter into the cigarette lighter DC port and skip step 11. If you do not have a car, then continue to follow along as we demonstrate how to connect the transmitter to an independent 12 volt DC power supply. Step 11. Using the soldering iron, connect one of the 15 centimeter wires to the positive end of the transmitter. The silver tip at one end that is connected to the fuse. Connect the other 15 centimeter wire to either of the metal pieces on the side of the transmitter. Step 12. Plug the adapter into the wall or into your car and adjust the channel to find a free frequency. A channel where there is absolutely no music, talking, just pure white noise or radio static. Note: It will be hard to find a free frequency if you are near a powerful radio channel or transmitter site. Note: The higher the antenna of the transmitter, is from the ground, the better the coverage. For example, if you put your transmitter on a roof, it will be able to cover a wider range. Step 13. Tune your listening device, radio, computer, or cell phone that receives radio frequency to the same channel on the transmitter and listen for your recording. Shut up,